Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy here, the Redstone Roller, and welcome to part four on how to make a game like Piggy. Last episode, we got. Well. Yeah, last episode, we got this done. Oh, yay! <laughs> Spam click it. I'm just kidding. It doesn't do anything. If you spam click it, look votes house and then spam. Oh dang it! I didn't get a spam click. As you guys can tell, though, it does remove the stuff in the votes folder, and it does remove it. But today, last episode, we kind of fixed that. See, it disappeared. Well, it disappears, but in today's episode, we're going to fix the part when it's doing that, it should disappear. So we're going to fix that, which I came up with a theory on how to fix it. So if we were to go to the game, no, not the game handler script, it's actually in the back button script. If we were to go to it, if you were to just select the whole script, then if you're to press and hold with your mouse, you can drag up and see that little arrow. Well, then... You can just drag it to the spot, and then it should, you can do that, and then you just press, like, where the local thing is, you just put your mouse thing, and then, oops, sorry, I fell <laughs> on my chair, but, um, you guys can just, like, put, ouch, um, you guys can just put, like, your mouse little cursor thing, like, see how it's blinking that part, you can just put it where the local is, and press enter, and then it brings it down, well, then, yeah. Or you can do it where you can copy and paste it. Or you can also, you can do the whole selecting thing and then put it like that, have an enter already. But yeah, then now if we were to click play, it should work. I'm pretty sure it's because the wait was actually, because like all the stuff was first. So I was waiting for all that stuff to happen. Then it was going to get rid of it. So now when we click back, yes, it works, perfect. So, in today's episode, last episode, if you guys looked at the, well, I didn't have it at first on the video, but um, I changed it. So now the title says actually intermission part one, because this is intermission part two, the fourth episode of intermission part two. So yeah. You guys can open all the scripts so it's easier. So, yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> Accidentally put the camera script in there. Bloop, double click. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that was all the scripts. I don't think I put any scripts in here. None in the workspace. Okay. So now, we're going to be working on the, uh, what is it called, what is it called? Oh yeah, that. We're going to be working on the thingy that, uh, because as you guys can tell, there's no game mode voting, right? Well, we need some of that, so we're going to do that in today's episode, okay? So, first, go to your game handler script. Then scroll down to the last part where it says V colon destroy and there's a weight three. Double space down the right next to the weight three. Then do four I comma V space in pairs. Then you're gonna wanna do game mode, M-O-D-E. We're gonna actually have to create a variable for the game mode. So, we're gonna have to go all the way up and we're gonna have to double space, and double, double, well, I meant down, down, and do local game, oh, game mode is gonna be equal. Make sure you put the braces that's what these brackets are called, braces. Then put in string slash quotation marks. Put inside of the first one, player. Then go on the outside of it, then press comma. Then do another string slash, uh, the string slash, uh, 
quotation marks. Then put inside this one, bot. And then do the exact same thing, the comma, and then the other string, slash, quotation marks. This is the last one, do player, space, plus, space, bot. So now, we have all of those. Well, so now we're going to scroll back down to the part. And hold up. Okay, um, right there. Then do, do, enter, and then do if v equals, equals, and then put string slash quotation marks, and then put inside of it player, then do space then, then do enter local int value, uh, do, capitalize the v, then do equals instance dot new int value comma r storage dot votes then do enter then do int value dot name oh sorry dot name equals v int value dot value it's going to be equal to zero. Then R event dot create C R E A T E vote. It's going to be I'm at colon fire all client and then do parentheses V comma four three nine six three nine six two nine three two nine three zero then do enter and then do else if enter i have not enter yet then on the else if do v equals equals and then do string slash quotation marks don't do the block bracket uh, yeah the block brackets that do string slash quotation marks and then type in it bot then do space then then do local int value again value is going to be equal to instance dot new int value comma r storage dot votes int value dot name is going to be equal to v int value dot value is going to be equal to zero and then our events dot create vote colon fire all clients and then parentheses of v come we probably can just copy and paste them but i'm gonna write them all out okay you guys probably can copy and paste them i just i'm gonna write them all out okay so one zero five one two zero zero nine zero zero Okay, so then do enter else if space v equals equals then do string slash quotation marks and do player plus bot capitalize the v then do space then then do enter then do local int value is going to be equal to instance instance dot new int value comma r storage dot vote dot v o t e s then enter then int value dot name is going to be equal to v and then int value that value is going to be equal to zero and then our events dot create vote parentheses v comma five zero i mean not zero five six eight 
8, 7, 3. Then, 8, 7, 3, 5, 6, 0. 5, 6, 0. Oops, not 600. Right? Yep. Hold on. Yep. Then, you have to scroll down, then end, end, then enter, enter, then go up to the map votes, the map votes, and then copy all the way down to, I'm assuming, right there. Copy. Actually, hold up. Hmm. You're gonna want to go to here and then go down to dot, dot map highest that 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 copy it then scroll down all the way to the bottom then right there then paste it then you're gonna want to delete the configs dot status dot value and then change the map to mode 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 and change the and then find and then change cur mode to cur map. I mean not map, cur map to cur mode. Oh my goodness. That was funny. Then do r storage dot votes. Come find for child that and cur map to cur mode. Copy. Paste paste mode then you're going to want to change the map vote change the map part just delete it you can also want to know how i'm doing that you just have to double click your mouse onto one thing for instance double click and yeah but if, if you want to select a whole entire sentence then just double click for i'm at Quad, I think it's quadruple it's called. F just click four times. I'm pretty sure. Because one, two. Oh, wait. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, maybe it's three, but if. Just do it. Just click and then it, until it does the whole entire thing. I'm pretty sure it's four, but it might be three. But anyhow, do it then game mode. And then you already have vote. So then, pull up. Just making sure we did the script correct. And if beat up value is going greater than highest in current mode, then mode equals. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we did the script correct. So I do wait one. And then do if number like a number sign, then do game dot players. Make sure it's game dot players, not game mode. And then do dot I mean not dot home get players. Then do greater than one then make sure it's a greater than sign which a greater than sign if you're to look close on your keyboard the greater than and less than are right by the l the less than sign is kind of in the shape of an l see oh wait hold on if you were to do a capital l see 
they're kind of similar. Well, the greater than sign is a backwards one. So you'll notice, because cause the greater than and less than sign are right next to the L. So you'll see. And the L is capital on keyboards. So yeah. So then, we're going to go to the configs folder. Okay? Then, you're going to add some stuff into it. So, we're going to add a string. Oh, wait, no. Object value. Insert an object value. Then call it killer. K I. It's not. Oh. Okay. Shoot. Didn't crash. That's good. So, yeah. Then duplicate it. And then rename the duplicated version to just put P R E. No, not just P-R-E, actually put P-R-E-V, I meant, for previous killer. Then, we're just going to close that for now. Then, you're going to want to press enter. Then, you're going to want to go to, you want to say, if mode, then enter. Then configs dot status status dot value is going to be equal to mode dot dot space and then put the quotation mark slash strings and then do space has been s e l e c t e d has been selected and do enter enter if mode equals equals put quotation well string slash quotation marks and write in it player and then do space that and enter and then do configs dot kill or dot value is going to be equal to game dot players Colon get children and then do the block brackets make sure they're not on the inside do not have them like that make sure they're on the outside then write math dot random and then put parentheses and then do one comma number game well, number sign, then make sure it's game, not game mode, then do dot players, con, get children. And then you can press enter, and then do another enter, then do configs dot status, status dot value, is dot V A L U E, is going to be equal to configs dot killer dot value dot name dot dot space and then put quotation marks and then do space has been s e l e c t e d space as the killer k i l l e r exclamation mark then do uh, then go down, make sure that the end is still there, then do enter, then do an else, then do enter, then do mode, equals game mode, make sure it's game, oh, see, accidentally wrote game, and then make sure it's game mode and not game, then do the block brackets, that's what, at least what I call them, bra block brackets, I meant, and then put one inside, then do enter, configs, dot status status dot value 
is going to be equal to mode dot dot space then put the quotation marks slash I meant not quotation marks put the string slash quotation marks and put space and then put has been selected selected then do down enter else not else if do it just else make sure it's just else then do mode equals and then do a string slash quotation marks and do a bot then do enter if mode space then enter then do configs dot status stat at, oh my goodness I'm spelling that so wrong stat this dot value equals mode dot dot space then put the quotation marks slash I'm at string slash quotation marks then do space has been s e l e c t e d has been selected then do oh wait sorry then you have to do enter else make sure it's an else not an else if then do enter then do mode equals game mode and then put the block brackets and then do one then press enter then do configs dot status dot value is going to be equal to mode dot dot space the string slash quotation marks and do space has been selected s-e-l-e-c yep i think it's S E L E C T E D. Okay. Has been selected. Then down down. Then enter enter wait to then you're gonna want to put Oh wait. We're basically I think done actually. But yeah, do put a wait to actually. Make sure you put that wait to. Then press play, and I'm assuming it should work. Okay. So, if we were to click play, it should hopefully work. Intermission six, five, four, three, two, one, and dot dot dot. Map flow. We're gonna click on the map. house next and we got an error let's see what this error is so it's an error with the player and the bot so it's saying attempted to call an instant value so that's what happened we did not write fire all clients so it gave an error because we just had our events dot create vote and then the parentheses. It needs to colon fire all clients or else it won't work. We do colon fire all clients. Okay? Now it should work. You always wanna have the output open, guys, because if you don't have it open, then stuff like that could, cause, right? Because we wouldn't know what would've happened, right? We wouldn't know what script it came from, right? Stuff like that. So you always gotta have the output open at all times, okay? Okay? So yeah, sorry, I accidentally said okay twice. So now, see player, bot, and player, and bot. I'm gonna click bot. Well, I'm assuming it, since there's only one person, it should automatically choose player. Oh no, it has chosen bot, but I'm at bot. Oh wait, no, I know what happens. And why didn't it destroy them? That is glitch or something. It should have destroyed them. That is weird, right? Do, do you guys agree? So, um... I 
I think I can fix it. You just gotta go to game. Go find the map voting system. And then go down to the bottom where it says where this is. Oh, sorry. Then just find the remove all votes. And then copy it. And go all the way to the bottom of here. And then do enter, enter, paste. And then we pasted that. So now if we were to click play, it should hopefully remove all the votes. Because I'm pretty sure those go in the votes, uh, votes folder. Since we don't have a certain folder for them. And to show you guys that I can't spam click the thing for the vote. If we were to click here, then go to house and school, see zero votes. Well, now look, house, I'm, I'm spam clicking it. Here. You can guys hear that? I'm just clicking it. Now, the game mode vote. See, they popped up and I choose player. Well, I'm assuming it should automatically choose bot for me because, yes, yeah, see, it's because there's only one player in the game. Well, I'm pretty sure that if we click on start and open up test server, it's called. Oops, sorry, words of encouragement was open. But if we open up a test server, hold up, I'm going to pause the recording while the server loads, okay? Sorry, my mic was muted. And I just noticed my intermission isn't going. That is weird. I went to the server and it's... What? It is active. Oh, this is the game I was on. I thought that was, as you guys can tell, I'm on a server, but you guys cannot see the icons because these are the icons, okay? I'm just letting you guys know. I know I just, I know I the thing wasn't working now. But, um, so I'm going to vote for house. Not, well, that one's house and this one's school. School, house. Let's see. It should choose okay chose school then i'm going to choose player now this one's going to choose player so now if we were to wait it should choose player and what happened why is it frozen don't you guys see that what happened to that? Player. Player. What? What the heck happened? It's broken. There's an error. An error. Okay. Let's see what the error is. So, it is the has been selected. Okay. So, we're going to have to stop it. And okay, so there was an error with the script, I guess. It's a, it's in the right here, I guess it's saying I'm pretty sure. So let's so I'm gonna look at this. So it needs to be config stat stat hold up. So if number game dot players colon get layers parentheses that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it should do that then the hot says dot value equals mode dot dot has been selected if mode equals player then configs dot killer it's saying that there's an error with this There is probably an error. Hold up. We're looking at this. Because I don't know where I was saying there was an error. And that was very weird. Who agrees? It was just not working. So, one sec. The video will end. Well, I meant not end, but like it will stop in a minute. 
So yeah. So as you guys can see, there is a server loading up. Okay, so yeah. See you guys in one second. I am back. Okay, so now let's just click play. Then let's just click play. Oh, Dana, I want to wait for the map float to be over. So I'm going to go to the status on the game. And I'm going to wait till it says intermission. So I don't have to do anything. So configs and then status and then click on that. The game mode vote will be over in a second. And I just noticed I accidentally wrote something. And it does work because when I was looking at the status, I did see the game mode. So, and it said player has been selected. So I think it does work. Intermission three, two, one, and da da da. Map vote. So now this player is going to choose the house, and that player is going to choose school. So now when we click, so now it should say okay. So it picked one, and it said school. Well now, oh, I don't want Bob. I want to have it set as player. So player and player. Now let's see if we get that error, which I'm assuming we probably will, but who knows. Yep, see, that error, what does it, so what is this error? So it's 129, it is that line, 129, okay, remember that. 129, 129, 129, sorry, I'm just trying to remember. 129, 129, 129, right, yep, yeah, I did have it right, so, it has to be configs dot status dot value mode. What? It makes no sense then. It says configs. It's configs dot status dot value equals mode dot dot and then has been selected. That's what it is. What the heck, guys? <sighs> There's something not right. And I guess I accidentally put Ben and not Ben. So we gotta make sure I put Ben. Okay. So now configs.killer.value that that that. So it can't be any of these. So oh don't worry about that though. Just my dog barking. One sec. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I know what's wrong with it now. Look, it says mode equals cur mode. We have to have mode equals cur mode dot name. That's probably why. Right? No, no wonder why. <laughs> Lol. We're almost done with intermission part two. We're almost, guys. So click play and click play, and now we're on the intermission. Yay! <laughs> okay. School. I meant house and then school. House and school. Come on. I choose school. I didn't get to finish it. I was gonna say school. Then it didn't let me finish. I kind of did grass crack though. So player, 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 player. <gasps> it worked. OMG. That's why. It's because we forgot the dying name. <gasps> what the? I'm sorry. That was very loud. I'm very sorry. I actually got a little too close to my mic. But I'm just too excited. It worked. And to actually test if it really does work, we're going to click it again. And then we only have one more part to add. And then I think we're done with intermission part two. So, player, come on. It's going to choose a random person. I choose player one. Oh, 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 
Oh my goodness, we guessed it. So, let's go. Because it just said player, I'm assuming that meant player one, because I'm pretty sure it said player two has been chosen, has been selected as Carol. Okay, so now we only have one more part. So, the last part we have to add is the, oh, what is it called? What's it called? <sighs> what is it called again? Oh, now I remember. It is called the player and bot bot. Okay. So now let's start. Press enter twice. Then do local m configs is going to be equal to map home find oh find first child parentheses then do and then put the string slash quotation marks and put inside of the con fix and do enter then do a corn it's a quarantine i'm pretty sure it's pronounced dot resume and then i'm just going to say quarantine it's not really actually how you spell quarantine but i'm pretty sure this is another way of spelling quarantine but yeah so i'm just going to say quarantine because i'm pretty sure that's what it says but i don't know so yeah quarantine dot create and then parentheses function then do the parentheses then that then oh make sure that you actually have like that then do enter then there should be two like that two parentheses i think on it then we're going to do if mode equals equals then do the string slash uh what is it called string slash quotation marks put inside of it player then do or mode equals do a string slash quotation marks and do i mean not just the one equal do two equals because if you do one equal as you guys could tell it gives me it's saying it's wrong so you have to do two equals then put inside of your player plus spot then do a space then enter then do print mode i mean not no do I'm at string slash quotation marks and put mode inside of it. Then do enter. Then do local plr is going to be equal to game dot players colon find first child configs dot killer dot value is I'm at dot name and then we're going to do enter and then do if plr space line then do enter then do print and then do found player and then do enter local we have not done skins yet so we are not doing that part okay so since we do not have skins yet we are not doing that the rest of it so we're only going to do this, okay? It's because we did not have skins yet. And we do not have the cutscene module yet, so we cannot do the cutscene module thing. So we cannot do the rest for the skin because we don't have the skins. That will come in a later episode. And also the cutscene module will come in a later episode. But not in today's episode because I think today's episode is about over. So yeah. Um, so, we'll click, we'll open up, ow, as I hurt my finger, because I just smushed it, but, um, once this thing, so, I'll see you guys once it's loaded. Alrighty, guys, I am back, and it has loaded, so I'll play, and play, and it selected a map, because I waited a little bit, so now, click, click. So both of the screens that you guys could see, on both of my screens, I clicked on player. But 
I don't know why I clicked on it. So, on the sec the second time, we're gonna click player and bot to see who gets chosen. Okay. So, house school. Okay, we clicked house school. So now school it got chosen. So now I want the player and a bot. Player and bot. Player and bot. Player and bot has been selected. But um so yeah. The shop button does not work yet, but yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below so you will never miss one of my videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. The rest of the I'm out. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Peace. I'm out.